Well, did you ever think DC would be calling fights inside the largest spherical building in the world? What a special opportunity for these athletes to get the chance to compete in this setting here tonight. Ready to fight? Ready. Let's do it. All right, here he is, one of the best featherweights in the world. Ilya Topuria ready to go for round one. He has been a methodical fighter every step of the way in the UFC. He talked to us about establishing his jab early, be opportunistic with my takedown attempts. He's going to have the upper hand in most skills against most featherweights in the division. So it's about fighting on instinct, being reactionary, and pursuing a finish to make sure that the promotion feels like he's the next guy in line to fight for the featherweight title. Not much behind the takedown offering there. Oh, and he lands another huge kill. Nice combination of strikes there by Lee. All right, early action here. We expect a lot of takedown attempts. There's the first one, and his defense holds up so far. His defense held up. He knew that he had to stay upright if he wanted a chance. So now, you can look forward to him letting loose on his feet and really trying to find a way to end this fight. So Puri is now switching his stance. I mean, right away, no fear in the process. These boys just went and started fighting. Both fighters starting to open up a little bit. Caught the kick. Oh, nice straight punch there to his opponent, and he lands it just after catching the leg. So clearly, he is starting to find his timing, not just offensively, but defensively as well. Very good read there. Stuffs the takedown, no problem. Throws a big right hand, but doesn't find its home. Lands the right hand over the top. Ooh, another shot to the head. Topuri is cut above the eye now from that strike, so we'll see how the fighter deals with that definite adversity now. Two minutes have expired off the round one clock here. Solid punch lands for him. Oh, big elbow. Oh, solid kicks are landing. He has most certainly found the range on the feet. Oh, another one. And back to his feet. Down defense holds up. Blocks the strike. All right, so it looks like some bruising on that thigh right now. He hasn't really done anything to address that weapon from his opponent. He's got to check some kicks. I know right now it may not be that damaging, but down the line. He's got to move. Whoa! Oh, big diving punch lands up top. So three minutes have flown off the fight clock there. Topuri is trying for a submission here. Ooh, that looks wicked tight. It's getting tight now, he's advancing. Oh, now he's in trouble. Oh, he got out, how good is that? This guy is so aware, he never leaves anything long to allow for himself to get subbed. Trying to guard pass here, not today. No, it ain't happening. Good job understanding the transition. Now he's going full mount. Nice shot there by the champ. Topuri is in half court. Oh, right into Mo.
nicely done. All right, trying to pass here, as Glover Teixeira might say, not today. Not today. Great job of following with the hips, keeping those legs locked and keeping them in full guard. for the end of round one. All right, heading back to the corner, and Toporia is bleeding pretty bad from the forehead here. Hopefully the cut man can nip that in the bud and make sure that that blood doesn't trickle down into his eyes as the next round begins. All right, so there's the end of the round. Few things in MMA more devastating than a head kick and nearly produced a knockout for him there. We talked to him earlier in the week, and he talked about chances to take the kicks high. He got a chance, he took it, he landed that kick and almost got the fight finished. Let's see if he can go and do that again. You ready to fight? You ready? All right, second round underway. Topuria going for the leg kick. He does not connect. Hands on this play. Another punch land. Oh, you do a good job of leveraging off the strike, too. Oh, he's trying to pin that arm in the triangle now. Ooh, arm triangle's in tight. It's getting in very tight. Oh, favoring position over submission. Very smart decision. You never want to value the submission over keeping dominant position. Now drops inside that closed guard, PC. Full guard. Let's see how patient he is as he attacks a submission or big ground and pound. This pace is just absurd. He has kept it up throughout the fight. Shades of Max Holloway against Calvin Cater. Punches in bunches. I mean, being there, watching Max Holloway do what he did was super impressive. Another submission attempt here, and this is a good one. Oh, it's tight. Good job by the champ there. Slide back out. Looks as though he... So pretty good recovery by the opponent after getting stoned pretty good. Got to capitalize on those opportunities. I mean, you can't waste these opportunities. You don't get them as often as you'd like. So when you get a guy hurt, you got to find a way to finish the fight. Oh, nice jab by Lee. Now some separation. Oh, another beautiful takedown stuff there. Quick reaction by the fighter, and he's able to stay upright yet again. Well, he recognizes his advantages. He understands that he's much better on the floor. Oh! Goes down again! Under three minutes now to go here in round two. Oh, effective utilization of the ground and pound here by Topuria. He's got the sub locked in. This is getting tight. Oh, he's got the choke. He's got the choke. It's over. Work. It's work. over. Oh, he gets out. He was able to get his momentum going back towards the opponent and back in the opposite direction to get his hips back and his chest down towards the mat. And Beautiful. you just spilled your popcorn all over I the broadcast. I absolutely did, John. You know I love popcorn. <laughs> Well, not exactly what we thought we would see out of this jiu-jitsu fighter. He's had a lot of success on the feet, and I think this is why sometimes the film can lie if you lean too heavily in. Absolutely. I mean, you think you're coming in here to fight a grappler, and this guy looks like a boxer tonight. His hands have looked crispy. His kicks, everything that he is doing has worked, and I think this is partly due to the fact that you think he's trying to take you down, when in reality, this guy can fight everywhere. All right, he's got side control here, DC. You know, he's got a lot of different submissions in his arsenal once this fight gets to the ground. All right, this position now, what we call the north-south. If you're the bottom fighter, what are you trying to do to get out of this? Man, it's tough on the bottom. It's very tough because everything hurts, right? It doesn't matter that they're not completely driving the shoulder in. It just, everything hurts. So you wait for your opponent to go to his next action. And when he does, you go and attack the hand. You get to your attack the hands with both hands and try to feel the lock so you can get to your feet. Well, you know this is the hurt business and both guys are compromised at this stage. Yeah, both guys are compromised. Both guys have been beat up. Both guys have done a great job of landing, recognizing what they wanted to be done. And oh! I mean, you gotta be kidding me. 
me with that knockout. If that is not the number one play on Sports Center tonight, I'm not sure what would top it. One of the best knockouts we've seen all year. In a very long time, I have not seen someone look this good. He promised us something, and he delivered with that beautiful knockout. Well, what else can you say about Bruce Lee after a performance like this one? Seemingly everyone on the roster wants to take their cracks against one of the founding fathers of mixed martial arts. And candidly, thus far, few men have succeeded. This just might have been Bruce Lee's best performance inside the octagon.